Yeah, Laura's in the group. It's like there's two of you, Laura, you and the person in the mirror. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Maritza. Hi, Marie. I am really excited to kickstart November. How good is this? Starting off November with a Jerry call. How to start the month with Jerry. I'm keeping an eye on my messenger in case anybody hasn't got a code as well. We've got new district manager Qual on the line, Lauren Spence. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I see bonus two achiever. It was such a good month last month. October was unbelievable. I think. As a whole success I we sponsored about 500 people last month, which is mad, absolute madness. Hi, Amy. Yes, Lauren, it is. I've only just seen, it's not a glitch. It, I've only just seen it is, it's on for another month. Free sign up for another month, which is, I've never, ever, ever known that. All month, I know, swear it. I know, free sign up for another month. We should do another, we should do another region challenge. Oh, here he is, he's on the line. Jerry's on the call, here he is. Jerry's on the call. Hi, Jerry. Good evening. Bit of rocky music to start the call off. I, oh, that's my favorite music right there. Do you like it? Yes, I listen to that every day. We are ready for November. November to remember. Yes. So, Jerry, these are your winners. These are the winners of the incentive that you set. You did that special incentive. I think it was only about a week ago, wasn't it? And there were so many people that were like, oh my gosh, I need to earn that incentive. I need to be on that Jerry call because you sent so much electric energy throughout the whole success line with your call last week. I think it was only last week, wasn't it? it, wasn't it? Last week. Yeah. So these guys that are on live, and there is some people that are going to watch the recording, have sponsored two consultants in October. And we've just found out, I don't know if you know this, Jerry, that free sign up is extended throughout the whole of November as well. Right. Which is wonderful. Which is, which is wonderful. So first of all, I can see all these beautiful faces here. So I just want to say, number one, congratulations for earning this call. Congratulations to everybody. And, um, you know, I'm a firm believer in creating momentum and then keeping momentum going. Aren't you, Danny? Kind of a believer in that? So, Danny, I don't know about you. But I feel that there's some momentum going on in your nation with Fiona. And um, I don't see any reason to stop the momentum, do you? <laughs> oh, Jerry, oh, I can see where you're going. I love you so much. <laughs> so I'm going to start off the call and let you know that we're going to keep this momentum going in this nation. And so I am announcing at the beginning of the call that I will be doing a special end of the year, beginning of the new year, fireside chat in December. And what you have to do to earn the call is you need to go out and sponsor two brand new consultants in November. And with that, you will punch your ticket to a special call that we will do next month to end the year strong and to talk about goal setting on how to prepare your goals for the new year. So I don't know. Now, Yay. I, didn't, I didn't tell Danny this again because I like to see her surprise, but here's what I'm gonna challenge all of you to do, okay? DJ Danny's in the house, yes it is. Yes, in fact, just play the music behind me because it will fire me up to do better. Um, 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is gonna be my challenge to you, okay? Danny, how many people earned the call for this month? How many, do you know how, what that number is? I can check now. Does anyone know off the top of the head? Yeah, I wanna know what the number is. Forty-eight in the group. Is okay. it? Yeah, forty-eight. That I was counting individually. Thanks, Laura. That earned that earned this call. Forty-eight. Okay. Well, here's my challenge to you. Let's double that next month. Let's double it. And don't give me all this. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, yes, you do, because it's not that difficult to double what you've already done. So that's going to be my challenge to you. Let's double the amount of people that earn this call. And we're going to have a real awesome fireside chat at the beginning of December. And uh, we're going to rock and roll and prepare your minds and your leadership for 2020. Because as I told Danny, we're just getting started because we're going to keep these calls rolling into the new year. Uh, I've committed to Danny and uh, Fiona and all of you for the entire year next year. And I'm going to be doing these calls with you every month. We might mix them up. We might offer you some different challenges. I don't know. But all I know is I'm committed to being part of your journey for the entire year of 2020 or until Danny and Fiona kick me out of the car to the curb, of which time I will no longer be. But short of that, I plan on being a, a big part of, of, of this for next year uh, because I just believe there's a lot of uh, greatness that's on uh, this call. And, uh, and I want to talk to you as leaders. And so I'm going to do something as well because you're leaders. You did too. You're here. So if you have a question, and I'm going, to, I'm going to go over some stuff, but if you have a question or challenge that you're personally dealing with that you'd like to disc me to help you with on this call, I'd love you to type it in the chat or you can unmute yourself and wave hello and say hi and let me know who you are because I wanna make this as personal and as intimate as I can with you. I wanna do something different with you than I do with everybody else. Because when we get together as an entire nation, we're training and doing stuff. But I wanna make this more intimate. I want this to be me here with you, sitting at a fireside chat, talking, going over, what are some of your challenges? What are you, uh, what's holding you back? What do you want to focus on improving for the next 60 days? Because here's the thing. We've got 60 days left in this year, give or take. You've got $0 signups again in November. You have the AIT trip that's going to be launched next month with another wonderful contest that's going to happen with that. So there's all, this in, there's all these incentives to help you grow, but the incentives help nobody that does nothing hello okay i don't care what incentives they put out if we're not working we're not going to go out and get the incentives but as we work guess what happens we start to to run into challenges and we start to run into um you know questions and things like that so before we get started um natalie said we want business builders have lots of consumer consultants well natalie first of all Congratulations for having consumer consultants because that's how you make money is having people that are using the products. But as I've always said, and I've always believed this, preferred clients grow your volume, but it's business consultants that grow your business. And you gotta be balanced in both. So lots of consumers are great. Not enough business builders is not great because that's what's gonna move your business forward. And right now, I want you to think about this. How many people do you know in the UK that have their own business that started their business with zero? I just like to know because I, I know what the answer is, zero. So when you're talking to people about your business, you've got to sell the value of what you're offering. Now, Danny, is, is the zero sign up with a 500 QB qualifying order or no? No, it is everywhere else, but not the UK. In the UK, it's a 150 QB. 
Okay, so it's $0 to sign up with a 150 QB order in the UK. Yeah. Okay. So let me give you some perspective on how to use this to sponsor more people than you've ever thought you could. Now, I don't know if that'll be of any value to all of you, but I'm kind of assuming it would be. So I want you to listen to this. Part of the challenge that we have sponsoring people is we don't talk business language. We don't talk like a business owner. And so people don't see what we do as a uh, legitimate business. Wow, you guys have that in the, in the UK, a cooling off? I did not know that. Wow. Wow, seven day cold, wow. See, I'm learning new things every day. I'm also not gonna do a V sign on the call because I'm learning that I can't do that. So I'm learning lots of new things. <laughs> but I wanna talk to you about how to get people's mindset wrapped around the value of what you're offering. So because I'm a mindset development coach, that's what I do. If I was sitting in your position building a business with a zero signup fee and a $150 QV order. This would be my conversation with everyone that I would meet. I would say, Danny, let me ask you a question. Because once again, I've taught you questions are the key to success, okay? When I come out there in May and we do our leadership summit, we have an entire hour that I'm gonna spend just on questions alone. Not only teaching you how to use them, we're gonna break off into groups and we're gonna be role playing with your teammates, specific things I'm gonna teach you to build your confidence while you're there. It's gonna be amazing. But here's the thing. When I'm talking, if I'm talking to Danny, I'd say, Danny, let me ask you a question. How many people do you know that have started a business out here that opened their business with nothing, no money. How many do you know? And Danny would laugh and say, well, nobody, everybody has to start a business. I said, right. That's what makes our business incredible. This month, we're allowing people to start a business with us for nothing. Zero, zilch, nada, nothing. What an amazing opportunity to be able to start a business from nothing. But let me ask you a question. When you start a business, like as an example, let's say you're gonna start a clothing store. So before you open the doors to the public, what do you wanna have in your store? And what are they gonna say? Well, lots of clothes. I say, right. Who would open a clothing store and not have any clothes, right? If you were gonna open a coffee shop, who's gonna open a coffee shop and not have any coffee to sell? Because when you own a business, before you open the doors, you gotta make sure you have product available to sell. With, is that true, Danny? And Danny goes, of course. And I said, well, because our business is a legitimate business, it's the same thing. The only difference is, rather than spending thousands and thousands of pounds on products for a business that you just spent thousands and thousands of dollars to open, we give you a chance to start a business for zero and we only, we only recommend a $150 order of products that you can use for yourself and have available to share with others. No, listen you guys, no business starts a business without the products they're going to sell. Why is it so difficult for us to understand that it's no different with our business? The $150 QV order is like the business order you place when you open a business. You've got to have some products so you can use and so you can share with other people. So you have to turn it into what a business person thinks. How many people start a business with nothing and everyone that starts a business has to have some products in their store, but they spend so much money on it. 
Here it's only 150 QV, 150 pounds QV to be able to do that. And you're in business and now you have a chance to build as large a business as you want and make as much money as you want. And it's all up to you. And so you have to sell that vision to people that what they're getting started in is an actual business. You've got to let people understand that. You got to bring that reality home because it brings value to what it is that you do. And then you have to understand all the other things that you have that is included in the cost of a business that they don't pay for. Think about this. You've got a home office staff that helps you grow your business of which you pay for none of them. Imagine if you had to pay each employee that's there for your business, you'd go broke. Well, you have a team of people that are working on your behalf to help you with your business and you pay them nothing out of your pocket. How about them apples? Okay, how about a shipping and warehousing department? You don't have to stock up these things in your house. The company has its own shipping and warehousing. So when you place an order, they prepare it, they ship it, they send it. You don't have to do that. If you had to do that, do you understand how tedious that would be, how time consuming that would be, how much money you would have to spend to do that? It would take a fortune. But guess what? When you join the business, that's part of the package. Okay. How about um, you guys have a free website? You have that in the UK, right, Danny? Free website. Okay. A free website. Do you know how much money it costs to create and develop a website like the one you have? If somebody were to start a business and create a website like what you have, it's millions and millions of dollars to create that where it's a global website that you can use for people all over the world. And when you come in, we give you a multi-million dollar global website for nothing, for free. That by itself is worth the price of admission, a free website. So think about this. So you've got a home office staff, they're to serve you, you don't pay for them, most businesses will go broke having to pay these employees. You don't. You have shipping and warehouse taken care of, right? You have a free website that could cost millions of dollars that people get for free. Then let's talk about your product line, right? You don't have to formulate, develop, package your products. It's already done. You've got people that formulate the products package the products, and all you have to do is go market them. So all the hard work of doing that's been done by the company, and you get to reap the benefits of that simply by being able to just market what they've given you. Okay, that's another big one. How about this? When you're in a business, people spend all sorts of money on, on attorneys, right? Because, hey, they could get sued. Well, guess what? The company has a legal department that you don't pay for, that does all the work for you to make sure that you are in compliance with all of the rules and regulations of the DSA so that you make no mistakes. If you had to start a business and hire an attorney to research all of the rules and the regulations, not just in the UK, but around the world so that you're in compliance with all of those, do you know the fortune that you would spend on those attorneys? And yet when you join the business, that's done for you. The company has the legal team, they pay the attorneys, they've done the research, they just tell you here are the rules, and if you follow the rules, you never get in trouble. My gosh, what is that worth? Okay, so you have your, your, legal, your, your legal team. And then you also have you. You underestimate you and the value that you and your team bring together. And so when you think about this, think about this. If you were to start a business from scratch and you had to hire employees, 
pay their salaries, workers' comp, liability insurance, and, and health insurance. You had to take care of all that. You had to develop your own shipping and warehousing department to ship and, and to, to uh, stock all the products. Then you had to have a legal team that you had to pay to make sure all the rules and regulations in every place you work in is compliant. Then you had to figure out who am I gonna hire to formulate products, make products, package products, how is that all gonna work? Then you have to do all of that stuff. And then we're gonna create this multi-million dollar website that we're gonna be able to utilize globally and you put that all together and you ask the average person, do you know what that would cost for someone to start a business that had to do all of that? It would cost them millions of dollars to create a business like that. And so what do we do? We, can, we find people and we give them an already built and established multi-million dollar business system and we hand it over to them for no upfront cost and simply 150 QV order of products so they have the market and you now own a multi-million dollar business structure. If you can't get people fired up about that, you're talking to the wrong freaking people because that would fire me up when you understand business and you understand what you get and what it would cost you if you did it yourself. That's how you find, that's how you sell value. And yes, Danny, you've got a flyer and I know I'm missing one or two of them because I'm doing this off the top of my head, but I'm trying to sell a vision to you of how to sell the business to people like a business. Well, we know Peter's not gonna be here anymore, so we can't use him, but you still have a team of scientists, customer service, you still have that as well. You have a customer service department. I mean, I'm telling you, when you understand what you have, if you don't remember anything I say today, remember what I'm about to say next. You have, a multi-million dollar infrastructure already built, developed, and in working order that we are handing over to people for no sign-up fee in a $150 QV order. Where are you going to go and have a chance not only to start like that, but to turn around and have the opportunity to build a business that makes you an unlimited amount of income. Think about this. What do most businesses struggle with? Okay, let's go down the list. Okay, employees, workers' comp, liability insurance, health insurance, theft, accounts payable, accounts receivable, inventories, supplies, rent expenses, and you have a chance to build a business without any of those hassles that prevent most business owners from growing a great business. You have the chance to build a business without the hassles of a business. I don't know if any of you are grasping what I'm telling you, but if you are, you're gonna start looking at what you do radically different. The value of what you offer is ridiculous. And if people don't get it, if they don't see it, if they don't understand it, next! Because I have no time to convince people of what I've got. Listen, I'm giving you a multi-million dollar business infrastructure already built, already established, already working. You don't have to create any of it. I'm giving it to you for nothing and a $150 order so you have some products to use and, 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 and market. I need to convince you, next. See, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And when you understand that, man, it's unbelievable, especially when you talk to people who already run a business, 
or have run a business and they understand the hassles and the stress of it, what if you can run a business without the headaches of running the business? What if I could show you how to run a business without workers' comp, liability insurance, without employees, without accounts payable, accounts receivable, inventory, supplies? What if I could show you how to run a business without any of that and still be able to make an enormous high six-figure income? Would that interest you? If somebody says no to that, see you later. I'm out. Next. That's the mindset of a champion builder. We are just looking for that next right person. But we have to understand, and this is the hard part, we are going to go through more wrong people before we find the right ones. Danny has spoke to over a thousand people in the last couple of years and 900 said no. 100 said yes. And when you look at those numbers, you go, man, that's a lot compared to what? That's really difficult compared to what? Compared to being broke? Compared to struggling the rest of your life? Compared to not living the dreams that you want? Danny's living her dream lifestyle right now. Not because she was handed something. She worked her butt off for it. She went and said, you know what? I'm going to work these numbers and I'm going to bust these numbers out. I'm going to get these done as quickly as I possibly can. I'm not going to drag it out for five, six, eight, ten years. I'm going to do it as fast as I can. And if I'm going to get a lot of no's, let them come fast and furious. Because the faster I can get through them, in between those no's, I'll find a nugget. Somebody who's ready to go. Somebody who's ready to win. Somebody who's ready to explode their lives. But you've got to get past all that negative garbage in your head. All that negative gunk in your head about, oh, this is too hard. No, it's not hard. This is a simple business. If it's not easy, look at that. If I didn't do the work, you'd be $100,000 in debt. File for bankruptcy. $100,000 in debt. And we have to, we're afraid because, well, I might hear a couple of no's. Listen, if you can't get past that, you may need to look for something else to do. Sorry to be bold, but that's just me. Because I'm tired of people wasting potential because they're afraid of things that there's nothing to be afraid of. When I started Arbonne, 40000 in debt, 40000 I mean, unbelievable. But you have to understand that pe most people aren't going to see this. Most people aren't going to get it. Most people aren't going to want it as much as you. But you know what the great thing is? You don't need most people to win. You only need a few of the right ones and you're on your way to blowing up your business. But you gotta have thick skin. You gotta understand that when people say no, they're not rejecting you. They're not insulting you. They just don't get it, they don't see it, the time is wrong, whatever it is. But we gotta keep going. We gotta take what we have and go out and sell the goods to people. Let them know, man, what a business we have. You could start our business for nothing. How many businesses do you know you can do that? You only have to have $150 QV order instead of $150,000 of products in a business. We have all of these things already in place, lined up, put together. You don't even have to pay for them. It's part of what you get when you join our business. See, you just have to be excited and you have to understand that the larger the vision is you paint, the more people that are going to be excited and being part of your journey. So I don't know about you, but I'm freaking fired up right now. I'm excited right now. And, and I'm going to tell you something, you know, when I come out there next year, May 2nd, 2020, let me just tell you something. I'm not coming out there to mess around. Okay. I love all you guys. We're already friends. I'm not coming out there. I mean, we're going to have fun. Don't get me wrong. But on summit day, we're going to work. And we're going to learn some leadership skills that are going to take your life and your business to an entirely different level. 
I mean, the, the feedback and the responses that I keep getting from the summits I've done already here in the States is off the charts. Not just things that you can use in your business. I have people taking these leadership principles and using it with their spouses. Hello? They're using it with their kids. It's life skills. And I'm telling you, we're going to get it. I posted, uh, Danny has a, uh, a five minute um, preview video with testimonies of some top leaders that just attended our summit in California. If you have not seen that video, invest five minutes to watch it. Send it to the people on your team. Because when they see that and they hear the testimonies, they're not going to want to miss this. Because there's going to be two people on May 2nd, 2020. People that are in the room that are excited to be there and people that are sitting at home wishing they would have been there. Because the event's going to sell out. And they're going to be sitting at the, door, at the wall listening, going, dang, I wish I could be in there. But they can't. So I want to encourage you guys, once again, take advantage of this because it is a gold mine of an opportunity. 67 pounds to come to an all day event. There's the sign up link, copy, paste it, send it. But this is the kind of stuff that we're gonna go over that day. And I promise you, you bring your teams and let me spend a day in front of them in person with your teams, your teams and your business will never look the same again. That's how confident, that's not being arrogant, that's not being cocky, that's being confident. Because I know, I know what that's gonna do for all of you. And what we're talking about right now is leadership talk. Yes, brand new workbook, Danny. 18 page workbook that I wrote from scratch. And that workbook has been a gold mine. People have been emailing me about how great it is to be able to reference the workbook after the event, two, three, four months later, to be able to go over the workbook again. So yeah, I wrote a whole new workbook for this thing. And it's gonna be great. We're gonna go over how to, how to use questions to lead people. We're gonna go over how to handle conflicts with people. How do you deal with conflicts? Because here's the thing, you don't run away from them. We're gonna have conflicts, we're gonna have disagreements, we're gonna to have to deal with them. How do you deal with them? I'm gonna teach you. We're gonna talk about how to build a passionate team of leaders. Notice I didn't say, we're gonna talk about how to build a team of leaders. A passionate team of leaders that are as passionate as you. We're gonna talk about how do you become a person of influence? Because leadership is influence. How do you influence people? How do you become that person? We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the character traits of every successful leader. There's seven of them. What are the character traits of successful leaders? We're gonna go over them and you're gonna be able to figure out which ones you have and which ones you need to work on. And then we're gonna go over the five levels of leadership. What level are you at? And what do you need to do to get to the next level? But more importantly, where is your team at? And what do you need to do to help them get to the next level? That's what we're going to be doing. I'm telling you, it's going to be life-changing, as is this that we're talking about today. Getting your mind in the place of understanding, I've got 60 days left in this year. I've got an incentive this month. I've got AIT starting next month. I've got all this great stuff going on. My goal for the next 60 days is I'm not going to just sell. I'm going to build. I'm gonna go build and I'm gonna find people that wanna start a business, that wanna run a business, that wanna do something different, that don't just wanna live paycheck to paycheck. As I've always said, this is one of my mantras in my business, become a builder of people, not just a seller of products. Let me say that again, become a builder of people, not just a seller of products. Yes, you've gotta sell products, but you need to build teams. If you don't build, nothing will work. Now, here's what I'm going to say. We're talking to people who get the building. You sponsor two consultants to be on this call. You get it. But let me tell you the kiss of death. We believe we're somewhere we're not. We're excited with the two people we sponsored and we're just working with them and we forget I need to keep doing it this month. Because what if one of those people quit? What if both of them decide not to do this? What are you gonna do then? 
So the mindset is, yes, I sponsor two, I'm working with two, but there's a good chance one of them may quit, one of them may have a family problem, one of them may just decide not to do anything, I need to go out and sponsor two more. I've got to keep the momentum going. The mistake people make in this business, and I coach too many people on this, they sponsor a few people and they stop. And then they live in, they move in and live with the people they sponsored. Calling them every day, texting them every day, you know, let's get your social media going, all this stuff. And then when those people kind of fade away, guess what you're left with? Nothing. And then you have the stress going, oh my gosh, I got to do this all over again. And then you go out and you do it again and you find two or three more people. And then guess what? You stop and you live with the people. And then the same thing happens and you're like, oh, I got to go do this again. And you're so tired and you're so frustrated because the mistake you made is you stopped. You thought you were somewhere you weren't. You thought, oh, I found my next two nations. How do you know who you found when that person hasn't even made a phone call yet? Now, I, if I met Danny when Danny started, I could sit and think to myself, okay, Danny definitely has the potential to make it in this business. She's got the mindset. She's got the goals, the ambitions, the dreams. She's got it. She's a hard worker. So on the surface, she's got all of the character traits that it takes to win in this business. That does not mean she's going to win. Just because you find somebody that has the character traits of a person who can win in this business doesn't mean they're going to win. And the biggest mistake we make is we count our winners way too soon. Just because she has the character traits, does she have the fortitude to do what needs to be done? How is she going to respond when someone quits? How is she going to respond when one of her events cancels? How is she going to respond when someone who said they were going to buy changes their mind and doesn't and goes with another company? How is she going to respond when she invites three people to a, to a meeting who say they're going to be there and not only do they not show up, they don't even call her? See, just because people have the character trait to win doesn't mean that they're going to win until you see how they work under pressure. And when you put people's feet to the fire, you get to see who they really are. My friends, I have had so, good thing this is being recorded, Danny. I have so many people in my business that had all the character traits to win that failed. And you know why they failed? Because they couldn't handle the no's. They couldn't handle the people that quit. They couldn't handle the parties that cancel. My friends, the road to becoming a region and a nation it's the same road for everybody. There's, the road is paved with no's, canceled events, people that quit, teams that quit, people that don't buy, people that don't show up. It's the same for everybody. Nobody's immune to for it. When you, get a, when you have somebody quit, instead of being all depressed and upset and, oh, I'm, uh, this is terrible, you know what you should say to yourself? I'm on my way to being a VP. You can't be a VP if you don't have somebody quit. So the fact that somebody quit, I'm on my way to being a VP. Hallelujah. You have an event that cancels instead of beating yourself up, just go, you know what? <clears throat> I'm on my way to being a VP because nobody gets there without events to cancel. I'm on my way. And you turn the negative into something that drives you. That's how I built my business. The road to VP is paved with the same garbage we all had to go through. You just have to get through it. But just because you found somebody, like somebody said to me, oh, I found my next nation, my next region. Well, how do you know? And they start describing all their character traits, which are great. But I said, that has nothing to do. How many, how many calls have they made? None. How many launches have they been on? None. How many people have they sponsored? None. 
How many people have quit? None. You don't know who you have yet. You have someone who has the character traits to win, but do they have the guts and the courage to win? That's the difference. I said, you want to know how you're going to find out? Get them on launches. Sponsor people. How do they respond when somebody quits? How do they respond when a party, party canceled? How do they respond to that? Because that's when you know you have a winner, is when they dig in and go, man, I just gotta do more. I, got, I gotta make things happen. I gotta get things done. It's all a mindset. It's all a mindset. Oh, uh, Tamson, that's awesome. Your son's listening. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Look at him. That's, that's awesome. Um, and you got to find people like, like Danny said, resilient people. I mean, Danny, I know I told you this before, but I probably shared your story on about five calls in the last three weeks. You're my favorite person to talk about because, you know, Danny's story is just a remarkable story. You know, everything she's done is remarkable, but, you know, having a daughter in the position that she was in, having to be in the hospital for a year and Danny being in this hospital with her daughter, not able to do actual events and parties and build her whole business through social media, sitting in a hospital room and becoming a VP doing that when everybody else would have. Now, here's the thing. I could have looked at Danny if I sponsored her and said, well, she's never going to make this. Man, she's, there's just no way she can do this. I, I'll give you another example of something that's really exciting. There's a regional vice president. I don't know if any of you know her. Danny, you might. Martha Yoder, do you know her? Okay. Martha Yoder, Yoder was the first Amish VP in the company. Martha's a personal friend of mine. So I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to throw myself under the bus, okay? So when I first met Martha at an event I was doing in Ohio, there was a whole team of Amish people there. And Martha came up to me and was telling me she wanted to become a VP. And she was the district manager at the time, I believe. And, I, and she said to me, because of the Amish community at the time, they have no electricity in their house. They cannot drive a car. So anytime they had to go somewhere, they had to have somebody that could drive them. They can't have internet on their phone or in their house. So they had to go to a library to be able to use their computer. And so all of the things that it takes for us to build a business, she couldn't have. And so as she's talking to me, Mr. Positive, Ambitious, Motivated Encourager, I'm thinking to myself, she's never gonna make this happen. You can't be in a business and not have a car and not be able to drive to appointments, not be able to drive consultants around, not be able to be able to utilize social media or the internet in your own house and have to go to a library once or twice a week. She's just never gonna make it. That's what I thought. But see, inside of Martha, there was the secret sauce that I couldn't see. There was this driving determination inside of her that I'm going to prove everybody wrong. And guess what she did? She proved him wrong. And Martha became the first Amish vice president in the company. And now she has set the way for all of her Amish team to say, I can because you did. Now, Martha had the character traits that I knew it took to win, but she didn't have the right environment to do that. So my thought was, it's just not possible. But Martha's thought was, I have the character traits but I'm gonna use my environment as the reason I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna make it the excuse that I can't. And she went out and became a VP. Danny, sitting in her daughter's hospital room, never even getting on a physical appointment, becomes a VP just through social media. See, that's what I'm talking about. Danny and Martha had the character traits of winning, but were they really the winners that would make it in this business, all the only time we know is when they were tested. And when they were tested, they both rose to the occasion. They both did more than anybody ever thought they would do in their circumstances and they became winners. That's 
what you're looking for. The person that has the character traits, but then you put them in the environment and you see how they respond. And the winners will always respond differently than the people who struggle. Always. So don't count your winners too soon, my friends. Don't get frustrated. You sponsored two last month, fantastic. Guess what? Who cares? Last month's over. Now it's this month. So now we're gonna focus on two this month and we're gonna do a call in December. And maybe in December, we'll offer another challenge to do another two and keep building these calls because the goal is what if we had 100 people earn this call that each sponsored two consultants? What would happen to your business? And then the consistency of that, as people leave, people fill in the gaps. That's why you keep sponsoring. Never leave a spot open for too long. That's what my upline taught me. You know, always have more coming in the front door than you have walking out the back door. And that's why we were always focused on sponsoring. So I know this is a whole bunch of stuff. I threw a lot of stuff out there. My mind was going a thousand miles a minute. I hope that what I said made sense. But Danny, I want to open this up for questions, comments, aha moments, anything anyone wants to talk about in the next 15 minutes or so. That's what I'm here for. But I hope that that will help you guys get this month started right. Oh my gosh. You know when, so everybody will probably relate to this unless you're brand new. So you know when you say to people like, oh, you've got to go to the conferences, you've got to go to the events, you've got to get to like the DAs because you never know when you're going to have like those light bulb moments. You just never know where they're going to happen. And you just have to be at as many things as you, as you can be because you never know where it's coming. And I feel like every time you're at an event or something like a call like this, like something that's growing you on a personal level, something sad and then you go up another lot notch and then you then you're on another call and something's and you keep and you keep it's almost like you keep climbing this like personal development ladder. That story that you just told um about Martha, for me, I was like, oh my gosh, I've just gone up another level in my personal development. And it might not have been the same for everybody. That is always something different that helps somebody go up another notch. But this is why you need to be at as many things as what you can be at, just because you never know when it's just gonna hit you. I was like, oh my gosh, like light bulb moment. I couldn't even write because I was that moved by everything that you said. And just like about the secret sauce and you're so right, Jerry, like you can look at people and be like, I mean, I'm just as guilty for this. When people join the team and they're like, oh, my spouse is, says I'm never gonna do it. My job says that I'm not allowed to do it. I'm not, my friends won't support me. Like they give you all this and you think, yeah, you're probably not going to make this a success. But some people do, and you're like, oh my gosh, I eat my words. I'm glad I kept that to myself because actually they, they did it. And you're like a bit blown away. So gosh, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. If anyone's got any questions, did you want to unmute and use this opportunity now? I love you guys. That's all I can say. I love Danny. I love all of you. I love Fiona. I love being on these calls. I look forward to these calls. And um, I tell you something, I am overly excited about coming out there next year and, and just being with all of you. Um, it, it, it's just going to be an incredible time together, laughing, crying, learning, growing, making new friends. It's going to be amazing. I, I, I can't wait. And you know what? That's why you need to earn these calls. Because I'll tell you one thing about me. You never know what nugget you're going to get when you're on a call with me. Because sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. Like today, to be honest with you, I got on the call going, all right, let's just kind of see how it goes. All of this just came off the top of my head. Just kind of, I, I just went with my own flow and nuggets popped out everywhere like popcorn. Well, guess what? You can't get the nuggets if you're not on the call. You can't get on the call if you don't sponsor two direct consultants in the month of November. So my goal was to create such value that nobody ever wants to miss this call and you'll go do what you need to do. That's the bottom line. Um, you are welcome. All right, who has a question, comment, a, a light bulb moment. Maybe somebody had a light bulb moment like Danny that goes, boop, that was it. That's right, ENVP, Carol. <laughs> That's right, my friend. Call that in. That's what I'm talking about. Call that in. We've there you go. So I don't know if anyone has got anything that they want to say. If you don't want to say it on the, on the call, just put it in the chat. But I'll add this to what Jerry was saying about filling the gap. 
so this so jerry's been my coach for many years so he'll know that uh, jerry laughs because he's like what's what's she, what's going on like what's your weakness and i'm like well it's not sponsoring like sponsor is not a problem for me so he'll always laugh about it so i've never had that problem of sponsoring but i want to tell you i i obviously do have areas of weakness like i'm not by any means perfect but i will tell you this so i have to sponsor about 10 people to find one like real life actual business builder and um last month i personally sponsored seven consultants and out of the seven one of them but watched the getting started video that we have watched units one to three and booked me in to do four launches for her and that is lauren who's on the call now and Lauren not only booked me in for four launches, she sponsored five people last month in her first month. And she's gone district qual, 2,500 and above, and done her IC bonus part two. Now that's amazing, and it is, and Lauren deserves like all the recognition which she's gonna get at training on Monday. But I had to sponsor 10 people before her and go, right, watch the Get Started video, let me know, let's do your launches before she came along. And it'll be the same again. Now I've got to sponsor another 10 before I find another absolute runner. So when you're sponsoring, say, nine people, and they're not doing anything don't worry about it that number 10 is on their way honestly just keep going keep going keep going danny first of all lauren legend congratulations my friend that's fantastic and danny you are such an amazing student which is why you're an incredible leader the greatest leaders are the best students and Danny and I have been working together for three and a half, almost four years now. No sign of slowing down here. We're just getting started is what I tell her all the time. Said, Danny, we're just getting started. What are you talking about? And here's the thing I've always told her, the 10 to one ratio. Her and I have talked about that for years. It takes 10 people to find one good one. We, we find two people that don't do anything and now we're sucking our thumbs feeling bad. And when people will come to me frustrated, I would say to them, well, how many people did you sponsor? Four. I said, well, okay, I don't know. Did you pass math? Yeah. Okay, well, in your math class that you passed, when was 410? Did that ever happen in your math class? Because in my math class, four is four, 10 is 10. And they'd laugh. And I'd say, so listen, my point is this. Stop whining, stop complaining, you haven't even worked the numbers correctly. So go out and find six more people and somewhere within those six, you're gonna find your next superstar, but you won't find them if you don't get the six, so go get them. And if you could just get that, 10 people to find one, and you go, well, that sucks. That seems like a lot of work. Compared to what? Compared to what? That's not a lot of work. That's a mindset. Now, guess what? There were times I found 10 people, I found three. There's times I found 10 people, I found zero. And here's what I realized. I sponsor 10 people here. Nobody's really doing much of anything. I sponsor 10 people here. I have, uh, I have one person that, that's kind of rocking and rolling. I sponsor 10 people here, but now I've got four. So I'm asking myself, what's the deal? And then I thought, wait a minute. I said the same thing to this group of 10 that I did to this group of 10 that I did to that group of 10. I said the same thing. So guess what it is? It's the people. This group of 10 sucked. Bad group of 10. Nobody was wanting to win. This group over here, unbelievable. Four people were out there. This group was okay. We had two. But it wasn't me, it was people of which I have no control over. So all you gotta focus on is let me get to the 10, because somewhere in there I'll find the one. But if you don't get to the 10, you'll never give yourself to find a chance to find the one. And just because, let's say you talk to two people, sponsor two and one's a superstar. Don't stop and think, oh, I've arrived. No, because there's a 50% chance you're gonna lose that person somewhere in the next six to eight weeks through no fault of your own. They talk to some negative person, their negative spouse tells them to quit. They decide that this isn't for them. They've got a family problem. There's a 50% chance they may not be here. So go replace them immediately by bringing in new people. And that's why I'm so incredibly proud of Danny. She is a 
walking testimony of everything I try to teach people. And here, you want, you want to talk about something funny? I don't know how many people I coach, but it's a lot. I can count on one hand how many people do what Danny does. So think about this. All these people I coach, all these people seeing success all over the world, and 95% of them still don't implement everything I tell them. But Danny does and a few others do, and guess what? Their business blows up. Not because it's my stuff, but because when they put the mindset behind the work, it just works. But do I get upset about all the people that don't do it? Of course not. Do I get upset about all of you that don't do it? Of course not. Because guess what? It's your choice. You choose to do it. You choose not to do it. It's a choice. So stop fighting it and just go work it. 10 to 1. That's the ratio. The quicker you get it done, the faster you'll find your winners. And Danny, I'm just so unbelievably proud of you, my friend. I can't even tell you. Oh, thanks, Jerry. You're so lovely. And I absolutely, I'm so pleased that I get to call you my coach and tell people and make them jealous when I'm like, Jerry Royce and my coach. And they're like, how? How did you get him to be your coach? And I'm like, oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think there's any questions or anything that anybody wants to say unless if you want to right now like if you do just unmute otherwise that was a phenomenal phenomenal call and I personally was moved on that call and I had one of my biggest light bulb moments that I've had for a little while so thank you so much for for enabling us to have that and that content was just fantastic thank you Jerry you're welcome my dear and to this month fireside chat next month and um Get yourself, get your teams registered for the summit next year. I know we've got a lot of time, but I'm telling you the event's going to fill up quick. So I'm just going to keep mentioning it every time we talk, just to remind all of you guys about it. Um, get that video that I did. It's a five-minute promo video with testimonies. At least watch it yourself so you'll get fired up. Mm -hmm. um, but let's, let's make that happen because it's going to be a great time next year. I just thought of something else to add. So Jerry's doing an all team call for everybody in the whole team on Friday, the 22nd. And he's doing it about um, how long. So me and Jerry were talking about people that, want, that say they want to make this business a success and genuinely believe that they do, that they mean what they say, but they just haven't got the money to, to buy things, whether it's events, whether it's to attend DAs, you know, GTC, Jerry's success, champions, champion success from it. Um, whatever products. So Jerry's, uh, we had like a really funny conversation, didn't we? Which I know you mentioned on your coaching call the other day. Um, and so I've titled it in my diary, how long? And, and let me tell you something about this call on the 22nd. That's all we're going to tell you is how long. You're going to say, how long what? Get on the call. But I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> this is going to be a very bold, very direct, no holds bar called where I'm going to blow up every excuse people make for why they can't build this business. So if you've got people on your team that are making excuses, you must get them on the call on the 22nd and do not tell them, Oh, Jerry's going to blow up your excuses on this call. You need to get on it. Just tell them you need to get on the call. Jerry's going to talk about how long and they're going to say, how long, what? I don't know. We just need to get on the call. Fire, get those lines packed out because I am going to take everybody's excuses away from them in so many different areas that they're going to be left with no excuses when they're done. You are not going to want your teams to miss that call. It's going to be amazing. Right. And on that note, Jerry, thank you so, so, so much. And we can't wait to see you on the 22nd. How long for our all team call? Danny, when I come out of the UK in May, we got to be playing the Rocky music when I get up there. Okay. We'll bring you some boxing gloves as well then. I will love, I'll wear them too. <laughs> and then we'll get you a cape, but the cape can be an Arbonne um, tea towel, you know, like a tablecloth. It's got the big Arbonne bug on it. I will do it just because that's how I am. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. And thank you, everybody. You winners. Have an amazing November, everyone. Love you guys. See you next month. Bye. Bye, everybody.